Dystopia warning, obviously. Welcome to Tan's Angry Christmas. Right, I've got 30 seconds to make my point because I know people on this app have the attention span of a lost lonely goldfish. No offence, I love you. Let's talk to you about strike action. You're going to find it harder to do things this Christmas and the reason you're going to find it harder is because the government aren't paying people what they need to be paid. Industrial action, strike actions, how we've got most of the workplace rights. They were fought for, they were not given. Sunak's refusing to engage with the strikers and he's trying to initiate an all-out ban on strikes, which is essentially a full-blown dictatorship. Instead of fixing problems and doing things properly, they try to legislate to outlaw our rights. Look at the protest laws. I've got a lot of time for just stop oil. I think it'll be harder to go about your business if you're under six feet of water on the M25 personally. But the press, the vast majority of which is in the pockets of the government and the monarchy, to brainwash us. Because, you know, the monarchy and the government only act in their own vested interests. They go, oh, the ambulances couldn't get through. What I thought is, how the fuck did that person get an ambulance? Have you tried lately? Those people working flat out to save our lives in a crumbling, underfunded, neglected system deserve to be paid more than pixie dust and claps. They deserve to not live on food banks. Meanwhile, you've got Sunak, a man worth 730 million, nearly a billionaire, with no shame saying it's unreasonable. When data shows an estimated 16 billion lost to fraud and error during the COVID pandemic, that's not even getting onto the VIP lanes. And Tory peers, like, I don't know, Michelle Moan, allegedly, fuck her, profiting from the sale of shonky PPE, which put our NHS workers at risk and could have killed them probably did kill them. It's a war zone in hospitals at the moment. They're giving out hot food in A&E. Paramedics can't offload their patients. There's no social care system, so people are stuck in hospitals. Anything that's going wrong at the moment is the government's fault. We're experiencing the worst decade for wage growth since the Great Depression and the biggest fall in living standards in modern history. And they have the cheek to blame people taking a stand so they can afford to feed their families and put the fucking heating on. Another thing that the government could stop because they don't tax the fucking energy companies. Jesus Christ. This decline is a political choice. Brexit was a choice. Failing to tax people properly is a choice. Letting their peers allegedly save millions in offshore accounts is a choice. Letting their MPs do the same. Jacob Rees-Mogg. When did the public become so fucking subservient? So depressingly lacking in balls? Anyway, I'm off to watch the last bit of Viva Vendetta just to fucking feel something. Support the strikers. Fuck this government.